Talk about Juneteenth because because we we celebrate that in the South, especially in Texas, because that's where it started. Interestingly, a lot of the Black people I know did not know what Juneteenth was because we are immigrants. So my family are immigrants from the West Indies and from Cuba. A lot of the Black people I know are are similar, right? Like my cousins, a lot of my friends. So when Juneteenth rolled out, again, it's sort of like the transgender issue. You can't roll out some new shit without the education coming first. Mm. So yeah, Juneteenth rolled out and every corporation rolled it out. But a lot of Black people and people of color and who are not American um, generationally were like, well, what's that? Yeah. And how does that move the needle on rights? It doesn't, especially given the fact that like these corporations that are giving that are giving this away as a, as a holiday, like you barely, you hardly have any black people working for you anyway to the, right. and, and, and they're, and a lot of them are in positions where if they actually take this day off, like they're going to be looked at some type of way or whatever. And to be frank, like a lot of the black people who specifically celebrate this, who are, you know, descendants of American slavery, they are not working salaried corporate positions that are, ju- that can, they're just going to give them this day off. They're working, you know, they're, they're trying really hard in, in other fields. And so personally, I didn't take, I didn't take that holiday, even though I was, you know, they, they offered it um, because I was like, yeah, dude, a bunch of people that I know that like, you know, I used to go to Juneteenth celebrations with do not have the luxury of, of just being able to take this day off if they, if they feel like it. Right. Was it significant for you as an African-American? Honestly, it was it was significant to me in in that regard, but it was also significant to me in 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 terms of being a Texan because we didn't celebrate it in North Carolina. We found out about it when we moved from North Carolina to Texas, and it was a much bigger. So, is it a holiday that was only celebrated in Texas? It definitely started there, and okay. so that is the place where it is it, it is you know deepest ingrained within the culture because uh, okay. she celebrates you know when the slaves in Texas found out that they were free because they okay. the whole point is they were freed months before that. Right. And so we call it Juneteenth because, you know, if you were in one part of Texas, you might've found out on June 13th. If you were in another part of Texas, you might've found out on June 19th. So it's just that around that week of time when the slaves found out that they were free and then they walked off the the plantations. Again, this was a long time after the Emancipation Proclamation. Right. This was in, I think, what, 1865? It's like federal troops, I think, went to Texas to take control of the state to make sure that the slaves were emancipated. I mean, yeah, I believe we know. So. Okay. So this, so this was meaningful enough to the African-American community. Is it similar to Martin Luther King Day? Better, more important, less important, equal of importance? I think Martin Luther King Day is more important. And I think motherfuckers mm. know how to act a little bit better on Martin Luther King Day because mm. the one fuck up okay. about Juneteenth celebrations, like they'll have it on like a weekend or some shit. And right. you, the the rule is you leave early because motherfuckers are going to be drinking because it's, it's summertime, people feeling good, da, da, da. And unfortunately, like if you're there too late, unless there's a heavy police presence as well, someone's going to get drunk. Someone's going to get in a fight. Some mm-hmm. shots are going to go off if you're going to any Juneteenth celebration, like in in a hood in a city, right? You know what I'm saying? Which is unfortunate. So like somebody got shot at Juneteenth in Oakland. Uh, they had a heavy police presence at Juneteenth Ugh. in San Francisco and in, in the Fillmore District. So nothing popped off there. But I was telling Zara, like we are not staying past four. Damn. You leave early. You never stay. <laughs> till the actual end of the Juneteenth shit, because it goes from being like a neighborhood block party. They're playing earth, wind and fire. Right. Right. To somebody tripping to now we're playing like gangster rap. Everybody's, you know, liquored up and the sun's going down and now it's your, you know what I mean? Right. People start to smell their own ass. Had a nightclub afterwards. Right. And everybody starts to smell their ass after sunset. Right. So, so now everybody's liquored up and partying and it, all it takes is one. And it's usually just one person, but I mean, here we are. I mean, look at the ripple effects of the Will Smith thing. I mean, y'all act like, you know, Will Smith caused slavery. Like, y'all act like he pulled a fucking strap out. Yeah, yeah, I I know. Like, you act like, exactly. I mean, they, the response to this and the, and the fallout from it and the cancellations of all this stuff. I'm like, okay, he, he didn't, you know, open, he's not an active shooter. Like, he didn't murder 30 people in a school. Like, he slapped a homie. Can everybody take it down a notch? Like, People have done worse and we've reacted a lot less to. Yeah. Plus so like, I'm not understanding. It, again, it's this performative 
mm. inconsistent reaction to things that makes that uh, it makes me not relate to what's going on because again why are we more upset about him than the alleged murderer who ran for office from jail and won the primary well, how is this more acceptable talk about it while saying praise the lord at the same time i can't yeah. you know what i cannot wait for these aliens to land or reveal themselves because I think they're here already, but let them land for the sake of the conversation and drop their alien dicks on the concrete and bitch slap everybody and take over this planet. I'm here for it. Can't be any worse than what we're going through now. It really can't. 